Good morning, warriors of God. Derek, we're praying for America and spending time with the word. Father, in Jesus' name, I welcome the breath of God. I welcome your glorious light. You said, arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And Father God, cover us with fresh oil from heaven and cause the blood of Jesus to conceal us even now. In Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah chapter number 10, starting at verse number 1. Hear the word that the Lord speaks to you, O Israel, uh, and O America, but both these nations here. This is what the Lord says. Do not act like the other nations. This is really a warning. Do not act like the other nations who tried to read their future in the stars. Wow. <laughs> Fortune tellings. Listen, O Israel. Listen, O USA. Do not act like the other nations. Come on who feel the need to read their future in the stars. Come on now. <laughs> this is happening. Do not be afraid of their predictions. So they're predicting, oh, this is going to happen and that's going to happen because I'm a soothsayer, I'm a witch, a fortune teller, a medium, a divination, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Shut it down, America. Shut it down, nation of Israel. Why? Why shut it down? Even though other nations are terrified by them, other people are terrified of these dark spirits word. Um, but the, the, the word of God is telling us, do not be afraid of them. Don't listen to them. Don't behave like them and don't follow their actions. Don't follow their deeds because this one's doing this as a nation. You want to join it? No, 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 no. If it's not putting God first, stay away from it and shut it down. Amen. Now, before we pray, their ways are futile and foolish. Now that's the word of the Lord. So let's pray over this nation. Father, in Jesus name, thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank you that you have given us the grace to see yet another day. And I promise yet here we are in the land of the living as we pray for America. Father, I'm asking you right now that this nation will not follow the deeds, the actions, the plots, the plans, the tricks, the schemes of other nations. That America will always be the beacon of hope. The city, oh my God, that is on the hill. That America will always be set apart, put apart, Father God. That will, America will always be powerful because you are powerful backing the USA. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So help this nation, Father God, not to follow the soothsayer, Father God, and the, the mediums, Father God, and the divinations, and the witches, and the warlocks, and the occults, Father God, and those that are reading the stars, Father God, and telling, predicting the future. Father, oh my God, we don't know what tomorrow holds, but one thing's certain, we know who holds tomorrow. We know who holds the future, and his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We need no prediction because he says, for I know the plans <laughs> that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call unto me. You will pray to me after you turn from your wicked ways. Then I will come and hear and answer. So Father, may we do so as a nation and may the nation of Israel do the same. This we ask in Jesus Christ's most holy name. And God, I just cover myself right now with the blood of Jesus. I cover this uh, broadcast, this video with the blood of Jesus. I cover all those joining and signing on the standing in agreement with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And where the blood is applied, the enemy is not welcome. And on this glorious morning, I put a thousand demons to flight because that's what your word tells me in Jesus Christ's name. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you. And may be strong in the Lord and the power of his might put on the whole arm of God because by his grace we will stand and see the goodness of our God in the land of the living until the next time, warriors of God. Shalom.